It's another exciting contest of college football here, folks. Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler, along with Kirk Herbstreit. Aaron Andrews will join us from the sideline shortly. Welcome to College Football, brought to you by Nissan, proud partner of the Heisman Trophy. Today, we've got the Tiger Cats and the Alouettes. at two very even teams today and what should be a real nip and tuck battle. When you've got two teams so closely matched, you look for your clutch players to step up and make the difference. We'll get a chance to see one of the truly fun quarterbacks in college football today. He's your classic gunslinger. He's got the vision and the arm to do a lot of damage. Kickoff's just ahead, but first let's head down to the field for the coin toss. It's presented by Nissan, proud partner of the Heisman Trophy. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Give us an idea of what we should look for from their offense. You'll see a lot of balance with them between the ground and air attacks. They can hurt you with both. And the fact that they're so confident going either way can make it difficult for the defensive personnel to prepare. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 33. He tackles him for a loss. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. The man defense proves to be too tough against the screen. That was an excellent job by the defenders. They fought off their blocks and found the ball before the play had a chance to develop. On the ground with the tailback. Nice run there. You admire their faith in the running game, but a pass might have been the better way to go. Booming kick. Tries to get around the corner, and down he goes at the 28-yard line. Not great, but not bad either. As long as your main priorities are not turning the ball over and establishing solid field position, then you're headed in the right direction. Throws to the tailback, incomplete. From their own 28-yard line, second down. Fires right side, got his tailback. They gained five yards there. You don't have to go deep every play to be successful. They got five yards on the play, and that's always a good game. Got his man, but he was out of bounds. That was a tough catch to make. He was close to dragging his feet, but he just couldn't stay in bounds. Booming kick. He's to the 20. 
gets to about the 27 yard line. He showed a good burst there. They'll set up shop at the 27 yard line. Throws complete and he stopped immediately. Six yards that time on the pass play. It's a decent pickup that time on a well designed play. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Runs it, and he stops short of the line of scrimmage. This is picture-perfect defense by this corner. Great job of providing run support. They bring him down in the backfield. That's going to bring up fourth down. Just a great job by the defense. These guys are disguising their defense so well that they're confusing the quarterback and the offensive line. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. And he's tackled at the 30-yard line. You hope that a lane or two will open up and give you some space to work with, but that never happened on this kick. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Glenn on the option. They'll make the sack. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. And they get nice yardage on that run. Cobb comes away with five yards on the carry. It's third down and 11 to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. They come out in a five-wide set. He throws it. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. Great effort here by the wideout to secure the ball and pick up some extra yardage. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. Looking to throw. Makes the grab past the marker. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. Just a simple toss play here that was well covered. But the halfback did a nice job of finding the marker and getting the first down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 37. Nice run, and he's brought down. Cobb picks up about seven yards on the run. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Off the right side, doesn't get much. Good tackle. Cobb picks up two yards with a carry. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. This place is getting loud. They work the tailback, and he's short. They'll be short of the first down after that unsuccessful running play. Nice job here by the defense of holding firm and forcing a fourth down. And he's taken down at the 26. Not much, but it gets him the first down. Yeah, it wasn't much, but on fourth down, it's all about coming up with the first down.
First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 26. Run play, and he'll lose yards. Man, did he play that perfectly or what? As a linebacker, you have to be able to read the offense and make a quick diagnosis, which is exactly what he did on that play. Glenn hasn't thrown a bad one this drive. And he is drilled at the 21. I'm really impressed with this guy's closing speed on the ball. He's got the kind of jets you need to be a standout corner. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 21. Takes it right and brought down right away. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. That time, it was the sophomore corner who got in there to make the tackle. He'll get it again. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Pullback straight ahead. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. And they convert the first down on that run. Yeah, the key to that play is a good blocking up front by the Hog Mollies. First and ten. Ball on the 35. Throws in the middle. He's taken down at the 47. Well, as you just saw right there, the screen pass can be a very effective weapon for an offense, especially when they're disciplined and when the receivers are patient. From their own 47-yard line, first down. He gets another carry. He makes his way to about the 45. A gain of eight on the carry. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Strings it out left, and he stopped right away. A yard, maybe two on the carry. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. They give it to the halfback, and he's tackled very quickly. And that won't be enough for the first down. Great job here by the defense in shutting down the run. That's a real boost for this team. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They'll start this drive at the 20. It's first and 10. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five wide set. Got a man complete, and he's hit hard. From their own 26-yard line, it's second down. Runs it up the gut and hit a wall of defenders. The running back gets two on the carry. Good stop there by the freshman. You got to be careful with this offensive attack because one missed tackle could mean trouble. This crowd is energetic, and they'd really love to see a stop right here. Glenn fakes a handoff. The junior makes the catch. And down he goes at the 44. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. And that's the end of the first quarter, folks. No score after one.
from their own 44-yard line. First down. Hands off left, and he's brought down quickly. Cobb gets three yards on the play. Second down and seven. Ball on their own 47. Going deep. And this one's going to get intercepted. So the turnover will once again give the ball back to this offense. That's two interceptions today by this defense. Their coach has to be happy that they're forcing turnovers. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 30. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. And they make the stop at the 39. Close to nine-yard pickup there on the slant. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Hand off, and he's met immediately. The defense just met the blockers head on and drove them back straight into the runner. Third down, two to go. Ball on the 38. He gets another carry. That's good awareness to know where the marker was and to make sure he got it there. If they had a bad spot, that could have been turned into a fourth down. From their own 42-yard line, first down. Way to look it in. They complete the slant. Good for 10. From the 48-yard line, second down. It's knocked away, incomplete. He got a lot of air under that pass, and he gave the defender time to come over and make a play. So we're looking at another third down here. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. Third down has been the charm on this drive. Now it's been all about execution. When it comes to calling the right play at the right time, they've been able to do it here. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. The quarterback had a tough time with a blitz on that one. Uh, with this guy, you can't let him stand back there and have too much time to throw the ball. You've got to get a hand in his face. Here's the option left, and they got to him before he could get back to the line. The halfback took the pitch but couldn't find any running lanes. And there were no running lanes because this defense had so much penetration into the backfield. He would have been lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 37. Five wide. And he's hammered as he lets it go. He was under some pressure there. Well, sometimes as a quarterback, you have so many things to worry about. What's the coverage? Where's the pressure coming from? And so on, that you lose focus at times throwing a catchable ball. Here, he just missed the target. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. They'll get the ball here at the 20-yard line. It's first and 10. They'll knock him down for a loss. How about the play of this defensive end? This is just solid run defense here. They get a great push up front, not allowing the runner to have much room to work with. And at the end, they're able to wrap him up. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. 
They complete the play action pass for a pickup of three. Well, it's a good job here to just secure the football, but he just doesn't have enough speed to turn that into something big. The intensity of this place is increasing. Good time to bring the pressure. Yeah, I like it because even if you can't come up with a sack, just let the quarterback know you're coming and make him feel your presence. Sometimes that's just as effective as a sack. Oh, excellent punt. Tackle at the 34-yard line. You're always looking for the home run return, the big highlight. Didn't happen there, but he still got him a couple yards. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. They go with the run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. There was just no daylight on that play, and the defensive lineman was the reason. Well, that's one way to get involved in the game. Great stop in the backfield. Looks to pass. He let that one go before the defense got to him, and it fell incomplete. Well, sometimes if you can safely get rid of the ball, it's your best option. Backup quarterback into the game now to call the signals. Back to throw. Here comes the pressure. He's tackled at the 38-yard line. Nothing doing for the offense, and it's fourth down. Very nicely done here by the defense. They did a good job of keeping them in check on their side of the field. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He's tackled at the 26. You know what? It might not have been a lot, but they moved the ball forward. Football's not a game won 100 yards at a time. You take what you can get. And they got him for a loss. Second and 10. Ball on their own 25. Caught. At the 40. At the 30. To the 20. To the 10. He's all the way. Touchdown. He goes over 100 yards in receptions. If you can get open and hold on to the passes, chances are you're going to have a good game. And that's exactly what this guy's been able to do today. Now, we've still got time left here in the second quarter, so this kid could really end up with a big game. He makes the PAT. A quick two-play, 75-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot, and they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. So our score, seven, nothing. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They'll set up shop at the 20-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Nice gain as he works the right side. About four yards on the counter to the halfback. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 24. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Fires it quickly. This one's intercepted. It's the junior safety. Brought down at the 38. This safety always seems to be in the right place at the right time. It's no surprise that he comes up with the interception here.
from the 38-yard line. First down. Here's a give up the middle, tackled right away. The fullback back to the original line of scrimmage, and that's it. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. Throws right, intercepted. That's three interceptions now for this quarterback today. Yeah, it's pretty obvious something is off. The defense has been creating problems for him the entire game. There's no doubt they have him figured out at this point. First and ten. Ball on their own 31. Nice run up the middle. The Alouettes take a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Throws a strike over the middle, and he's tackled at the 44-yard line. Complete for six yards, and that's good for a first down. Heads-up play by the quarterback to find his receiver in traffic and get the ball into his hands. Hands it to the back. Nice run to the left there. And the clock continues to run. Now let's see if they try to hurry up here. From the 49-yard line, it's second down. Home run ball in the air. In and out of his hands. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. He's going to come up short. Good tackle. They might have been able to catch the defense off guard with a play-action pass there. But by going to the ground, they didn't have much of an opening. He'll try the back, but the defense is all over him. Not quite enough for the first. Looks like they'll turn it over on downs. You know what? I think they still made the right call there. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Glenn, back to throw. And it's intercepted by the freshman cornerback. You know, this defender is doing a tremendous job of anticipating where the quarterback is going with the football. It's uncanny. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 26. Nice run there. The Alouettes are going to take a timeout. That was their second timeout. And he hits him hard at the 26-yard line. And they came with just too much pressure for the offensive line to handle. Yeah, that's an excellent play by this defensive end to sneak by the tackle and get to the quarterback for a loss. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Whoa, he just took a licking. And for Glenn, he's had a rough outing this afternoon. Well, he's made some bad throws that he'd love to have back, but he just needs to forget about that and move on. They're still in this game. Thanks to the offensive ineptitude on the other side, the picks really haven't hurt that badly so far. We'll see if he can strike first. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Ah. 
Glenn steps back to pass. He's hit and taken down. Takes it right. Oh, what a hit. So with the half ending, they're just going to try to put three points up on the board. The kick is away. It's long enough. And it's good. So we've played two quarters. Ten. Nothing. The teams are lined up, and we're just about ready to start this second half. He's to the 10. He makes it to the 25-yard line. The second half is underway. Here's a quick look at the first half highlights. Let's see if they can get something going now. From their own 25-yard line, first down. Runs outside for a nice game. Cobb gets about four yards on the play. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. Cobb gets three yards on the play. From their own 32-yard line, third down. They work the tailback, and he's short. Complete breakdown in judgment and discipline. These are the types of mental errors that drive coaches crazy. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. And it's knocked away. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. He unloads it. Got him. The 10. Touchdown! The wideout here truly knows what he has to do to contribute to make his team successful. Where was the coverage there? There wasn't anybody near him at all. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A four-play, 73-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So the score now, 17, nothing. Makes it to the 22-yard line. They'll start this drive at the 22-yard line. Option here. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. So they wrapped him up before he could get anything going. Yeah, there was nothing there on that option. Second down, and they've got 15 for the first down. Ball on the 18-yard line. Hi. 
And he carries the ball for a nice game. From their own 22-yard line, it's third down. Back to pass. Oh, so close to breaking it. It definitely put them in better field position. And I just have a feeling that they're going to punch it into the end zone on this drive. It's first and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. He gets rid of this one. From the 45-yard line, second down. Runs left and can't get back to the line of scrimmage. Think about the speed and instincts it takes for a linebacker to get from his position into the backfield to make a play like that. That's well done. Back to pass. That could have been a big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. They'll set up shop at the 20-yard line. They'll bring him down at the 32. He put the ball in there perfectly that time. And let me tell you, this kid has impressed me all day with the touch on his passes. That's a good-looking throw there. Just throws this one away. From their own 32-yard line, it's second down. They go with the run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. Well, I think it's safe to say the defense had his number on that one. It can be very frustrating for a running back when he's stopped before he even gets going. Going deep. At the 30, to the 20, to the 10. Touchdown. Big play. And for Glenn, he now has three touchdown passes. He's been letting it fly today, and his receivers are making plays. That is a great touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. A four-play, 81-yard drive. And it's good for seven points. So our score, 24, nothing. DeAngelis, ready to kick. He puts it deep downfield. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. They'll get the ball here at the 21. It's first and 10. They'll go ground. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. You're always looking for ways to get your playmakers involved, whether it's handing it off or just throwing it to him. First and 10, ball on their own 33. Hands it to the back. At the 40. At the 30. He might have a chance. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. Make it 100 yards rushing for him. Let me remind everybody that this guy's only a freshman. So if he's doing this now, can you imagine what he's going to be doing in a few years?
And the quarterback stays on the field as they try for the two-point conversion. They put everyone up on the line. They don't get it. A quick two-play, 79-yard drive. But they just get six points after failing to convert for two. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. That can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. So our score, 24-6. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. Let's review some of the action from the first half. If they score a touchdown on this series, that'll make it four. They'll take over at the 31-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Caught out in the open. And he's leveled at the 42. Boy, it's a good job by the quarterback of recognizing the blitz and getting the ball out of his hands for a first down. But at the same time, I like the call from the defensive coordinator. He blitzed not one, but both cornerbacks. you got to love that aggressive call. The lineman had a big push there to get in the backfield and bring him down. And once he gets moving, there's no stopping him. This guy is so big and strong that he's almost impossible to block with one guy. Goes over the middle, intercepted. Tackle made at the 47. There you go. If you're going to come back in this game, it's going to start with one play. And maybe that pick is what turns things around for you. First and 10, ball on the 47. Tackled for a loss. So it's second and twelve. Ball on the forty nine. Here's an option right side. He tackles him for a loss. I'll tell you what, for a defensive back, this kid is a sure tackler, and he showed it right there. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 37. Handoff, and the defense with a big stop. Around five yards on the delayed handoff. It's fourth down, and this field goal looks to be impossible. And they got a hand on it. They fall on it. And a huge block by the special team. Well, Brad, there's something you just don't see very often. Great effort by the defense to break through that line and block the field goal. This is a great place to start the drive on the opponent's side of the 50. Not to the fullback, and he can't pull it in. It's second and ten. Ball on the 43-yard line. Now they run it left and a nice tackle right there. And the tailback's going nowhere on that counter. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 33. That's a great tackle at the 49. Outstanding job there by the linebacker to find his way through on the blitz. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. As the fullback opened, and he dropped it. There's a missed opportunity by the offense. They'll start this drive at the 49-yard line. He fights forward to around midfield. The halfback picks up a yard. It's second and nine. 
Ball on the 50-yard line. Looks like an option here. He makes his way to about the 38. You talk about a dual threat guy, this guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. From the 38 yard line, first down. They hand it off, and he carries the ball for a nice gain. Gain of six on the draw play. From the 32-yard line, second down. They hand it off. Nice run there as they work the outside. They should continue to run the ball. If they keep this up, the defense will wear down very quickly. get him for a loss really good job by the big guys up front to use their size and speed and get the runner in the backfield second and 13 ball on the 31 yard line he drops back And they make the stop at the 21. Well, they didn't get the first down, but it was still a pretty good run by the quarterback. He made a good decision to take off there. From the 21-yard line, third down. They go with a run, and he's going to be stopped short. From a defensive coordinator standpoint, it can really help out your scheme when you get excellent run support by the corner. That's three down and one to go. Our score is 24-6. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. He drops back. He's at the 20, and he's tackled at the 11-yard line. Unbelievable pass. They don't care what down it is. First down, 10 to go. This is the ninth play of this drive. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. It's second down. Five yards from a touchdown. They'll run it inside and tackle quickly. A yard, maybe two on the carry. It's the 11th play of the drive. It's third down. They put everyone up on the line. Looks to the end zone. Batted away. And that makes it fourth down. Boy, great defense on that play. They were expecting the pass, and they defended it very well by getting a hand in there to break up the play. They'll try the back, but he can't get through. I'm not sure the offense had much of a choice here. It was a pretty short conversion. The defense just made a good play. I can't argue the play call. The defense just did their job by standing their ground. Gains his way to the 10-yard line. Cobb gains around eight yards on the run. That makes, that makes second, second and two. We got a second and two. Ball on the 10. He gets out to about the 12-yard line. And they keep it on the ground for the first down. Nothing too fancy here. The key is that the running back was able to convert the first down. They line up at the 12. First down. The 
gains his way to the 23-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 23-yard line. And it's knocked down. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 23. Hands it to the back. He makes his way to about the 32. They go with a run, and that'll be a gain of nine. It's third down, a yard for the first down. Ball on the 32. He delivers, and this one's broken up. This unit has quick hands, and they showed it there by knocking away the pass. So it's fourth down. The punter comes on the field, getting ready to send one off. Booming kick. Got the corner. Tackle made at the 27. Decent effort. He's not the type of guy to call a fair catch very often. He does have the ability to make guys miss. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. And he tackles him hard at the 20. And they get a nice defensive play. Well, here's a play you don't see very often. That time they brought pressure from the corner position, and the line couldn't pick him up, and he was able to wrap the quarterback up for a sack. That's a good defensive call. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. And off up the middle, and he's stuffed. The defense was playing run all the way right there, and it paid off for him. Here's a third and long situation. Ball on their own 19. And he's going to be sacked. The pressure got to him that time. Now well, they brought the heat here, and the linebacker was able to spring free for a big play. Fourth down, and they're ready to punt this one away. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He got hit hard. They'll start this drive at the 47-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Throws it. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. That was textbook coverage by the defense. That's exactly what you want to do on every single pass play, but it doesn't always happen. Glenn on the option. To the 20, to the 10. And he scores! Touchdown! Once this halfback got past the second level, there was nobody that was going to stop him. This offense has so many dangerous weapons in the option attack, it's almost impossible to slow him down. And he tacks on the extra point. A quick two-play, 53-yard drive. And that's good for a touchdown. So our score, 31-6. DeAngelis has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. For a touchback. 
First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. From their own 20-yard line, it's second down. And they hit him in the backfield. The D-line did a good job of nullifying out the blocks up front, and that allowed the linebacker to roam free and make the tackle in the backfield. Here's the long ball, left side. No, incomplete. He's unable to hit his receiver. He overthrew it. Yeah, and that's a throw he should make every single time. He's got the corner. He got a lot of jersey on that play. Not too much argument about this call. Holding penalties can really kill momentum. But sometimes if you don't hold, your quarterback can take a pretty good shot. From their own 34-yard line, it's first down. Glenn drops back on first down. Almost intercepted. Almost a big play. He patrols the deep part of the field like a center fielder, though he didn't make the catch like one. Straight run, nothing going on there. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. From their own 35-yard line, third down. Glenn set to go to the air. A little too wide. Incomplete. Fourth down. The punt team is on the field looking to kick this one away. Watkins, the return man. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Fielded at the 19, and he's hammered down. When he made the decision to return the ball, I'm sure he thought there was going to be some room to run, but boy, did it vanish in a hurry. Still, he got something out of it. Less than three minutes in the game. Complete. It's the freshman. From their own 33-yard line, it's second down. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Takes a handoff inside and stopped immediately. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. Third and a foot. Ball on their own 34. Just under two minutes in the game. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. He didn't get much, but he got enough for the first down. Well, that's really all they wanted there was to pick up the first down and get a fresh set of downs and continue to move the ball downfield. Five wide. And it's knocked away. From their own 35-yard line, second down. Just under two to go in the game. He drops back. Decides to slide. Well, they didn't pick up the first down, but he saw that no one was open, so he made the right decision to tuck it and run. 
They'll line up with five wide receivers. Brought down at the 46-yard line. I like how the blitz was identified and then picked up. That's a good test for a quarterback. How does he react in the face of pressure? From the 46-yard line, first down. A little over a minute in the game. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Boy, this defense really came to play today. Well, they said before the game that they wanted to put a lot of pressure on this quarterback. They sure stuck to that plan. The offense calls a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. Decent run here, right side. The Alouettes call for a timeout. That was their second timeout. Under a minute left. Here's the back, nowhere to go. This is a good call by the defensive coordinator. He guessed run, and when the offense came with it, his guys were in position to make the stop. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. They'll set up shop at the 20-yard line. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Takes a knee. And this one's all but wrapped up with the final score, the Tiger Cats, 31, the Alouettes, 6. Well, this young man is our player of the game. A donation of $10,000 will be made to the school's general scholarship fund in his name. For EA Sports, Kirk Herbstreet and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks for joining us in NCAA Football 12, and we'll see you next time.